all right what's good everybody it's your boy akeen and welcome to this vlog here to continue with my previews for the 2015 college football season and i'm going to continue things with the sunbelt conference for today and in this vlog i'm here to talk about the idaho vandals now paul petrino and company only had one win last season going one and ten Another down year. This is not looking too good. And just like Georgia State, this defense, this team has a terrible defense as well, with averaging allowing 37.3 points per game. But the difference between Georgia State's defense and the Vandals' defense is that um, it's not really the defense's fault. Last year, it was really on um, the offense that was a problem. Um, at quarterback, they do they did have a fresh freshman. At quarterback, and I will cut him some slack with Matt line him. I hope he does a better job this upcoming year as a sophomore and definitely mature a little bit. Now, last year he had 25 uh, over 2,500 yards of passing last season, 11 touchdowns, and 18 interceptions. Needs to not throw as many um, turnovers and cause turnovers, and that put the defense back on the field to give up more points and be more vulnerable. That was the issue on the defensive side. Now, they're going to have to play without. Josh McClan, their top receiver last season, but they do have a pretty good running back in Elijah Penny, who had 12 rushing touchdowns last season, which is pretty good. Now, defensively, they do have a couple of like players that I do like, like Quentin Bradley. He had six sacks last season to go along with 52 tackles. They have in, um senior linebacker and Mark Millen as well with 102 tackles last season as a junior. And they do have a first-team puncher in Austin Rico. Rico, that's a, a decent player as well. First team, and he, and he is a weapon for the defensive side as far as punting the football. Now, as far as the recruits, they did a terrible job with the recruiting process. Not that many top recruits like to go to Ohio, um, Idaho anyway. Now, the top recruit was a two-star quarterback in Kareem Coles. He's six foot at 162 pounds. Needs to get bigger in order to get some playing time. And they do have, they did pick up a running back in Denzel Brad, Bradley, not bad. And they picked up Darius uh, Lyles, an uh, inside linebacker. They don't really have any big name recruits. Like I said, their top recruit is a two star athlete. Still not getting any players. They're still struggling with the recruiting process. And I think this year is going to be another down year. I think they're going to go only one win again. Because they don't have a Josh McClain, their top target and their top offensive weapon, in my opinion. He's actually done. He was a senior last season. I think that offense is still going to struggle a little bit. But I am looking at uh, uh, um, quarterback Matt Lineham to do a better job. But I still think he's going to struggle as a sophomore. I see one, maybe two wins at the end of the season. But this this year, I'm going to go because uh, the, the three games that I am looking at is Warford, uh, Warf the, the games against Troy, Warford, as well as New Mexico State. Those are the three games that I think they can possibly win one, maybe two games. So I really think they're going to go one and 11 again, but two and 10 at best. Now, the next time to catch you guys will be in a couple of minutes. I have a couple more blogs for you for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Keenum Call. Be easy.